thanks for tuning into this video and for checking out my channel. I aim to provide Excel videos for SNC coaches and sports scientists to help them accomplish their daily tasks and make their lives a bit more efficient. So if you're interested in this and other videos like it, check out my channel or also check out the links below for a couple of Vimeo courses where I go into a little bit more detail. This particular video we're going to look at another application of VBA. If you are someone who has to prepare reports for your athletes on a regular basis, then you might like to increase the personal touch by having a photo of them on the report. Now what I've used is just a cartoon image, but this could easily be a uh, genuine mugshot or even an action shot of this athlete during their sport. So if I choose a different name from this drop down box, such as Andy, you can see that the data has updated for these tables and charts. I could also click load picture. And now we've got this particular athlete's picture in there. I'm going to show two methods of doing this. The first one is where those pictures are in a folder on your computer. The second method that I will show you is where the photos are actually a part of the sheet. As you can see here, I've got four pictures pasted into a sheet that I've called photos. Now there's pluses and minuses with both of these methods. The first uh, thing to consider is that you may have multiple users and if you do then it can sometimes be a problem to have the photos in a folder because they might not all have access to that folder. The problem with having the photos inside the file is that the file size can get very large particularly if you have a lot of athletes. So a few things to consider but nevertheless both methods are relatively easy. So let's look at the external method first. If I choose a name Andy Baker, I need to tell Excel where it can find a picture and what it's called. What you can see on your screen now is a Windows Explorer view and it's got a folder called Documents Athlete Images. And inside that folder are four files with a very specific name. It happens to be that I've named these files exactly the same as the item in the drop down box. There's no space between first name and second name, and they're all JPEG images. And so if I look now at this text here on the right hand side of the screen, it's looking in the folder called C uses John L documents athlete images and by adding that as you can see if I click on this it's just adding using the ampersand it's adding the athlete name and adding the, the suffix which is dot jpg and so the cell j3 has the full file path to find that picture I've put a different athlete's name in there, Dave, and click load picture. You can see that the new file path is showing and it's going to delete the old picture and put the new picture in there. Let's have a look at that code. So we can see here's the layout of our file. We're in the VB editor now. We can see I've got module one, four sheets, and a little bit of code inside module one showing on the right. There are two macros that we need to look at for this particular example. The first one is adding the picture. The second one is deleting the other picture. And so when this code runs, the first thing it does is deletes the old picture by running the other piece of code. So it runs a macro called delete pick, which is what you can see underneath. Once it's done that, it selects cell H3. It inserts a picture based upon the file path found in cell K3. It makes the picture 125 units high, and then it selects cell just to finish things off. So let's have a look at that. Inside K3, 
you can see the full file path. The top left hand corner of this image is in cell H3. If I go to the code and I modify that to say G3 and I modify this to say 190 we can immediately go and check out and see what happens. Choose a new name, click the button, so it's going to be bigger and in a different spot. Let's revert back so that everything works okay. So here we are, this is the only critical line. It is simply that inside the active sheet we're inserting a picture using this particular file path and we're adjusting the picture height. Just scrolling down and looking at the delete pick, what it's looking at is trying to delete any pictures in the range of H3 to H11. If it finds anything, it's going to delete it. So if I move this out the way, and I run the code for Andy Baker, it's not going to delete the old one. The reason for that is it's only looking in the range H3 to H11 for any pictures and then deleting it if it finds something. And so that way what we also have is a second image which is the team logo. It's not deleting that. But anything it finds in column H rows 3 to 11 it deletes. So that's the first way of doing it. The second way works just as well. I haven't fine-tuned this page as much, but what we can see is if I choose a name and click load picture, it pastes in there. Scrolling down, it's inside the same module. I've called the procedure add pick from sheet. First thing it does is delete the old picture anywhere between cell H2 and H10 looks for a picture and deletes it. It's identical code to what was used above. The second part is it selects the correct picture from the sheet called Photos. The sheet's called Photos to us but in Excel language it's sheet 14 as you can see up in the VB editor. Something that doesn't happen in this particular procedure is it doesn't size it. It's going to paste it in whatever size it finds it in. And so for example, if I reduce this down, this is the picture Dave Watson, and we choose Dave. It's only going to put it in there in a small size. We could select it and resize it later, but I find that It's easy just to get it how you want it and leave it as it is. When you're organizing your images, all I've done is paste them into the sheet and size them in a roughly similar way. The key step is that you click on the image and in the name box you give the picture a name that you can then refer to in your code. I've chosen to just use the full name with no space for each of these four images. And so for example, if I added a fifth athlete and I wanted to paste their picture in, let's say this logo was their picture. Paste it in, it's just called picture 5. But with the picture selected, I can click in the name box and call it Team Logo. Now whenever that image is selected, its name will appear here, Team Logo. And so that's the process to go through if you want to use this method. Get all your pictures in here, get them the size you want, and then one by one, give them a name using the name box. Then the code can refer to logo name which is a variable we have assigned 
to this cell here. So as long as the name in cell C3 matches a picture on the photo sheet, then it's going to work. Hopefully that's of use. Stop again soon and you'll see some more Excel videos. I've got a couple more VBA ones to go. If you want a copy of this file, feel free to send me an email to the address shown above. See you next time. Thanks.